Now when you blow air over this test tube at just the right speed, you can get it to make a whistle sound. But there's another cooler way to do this. I have a same size test tube here that I've stuck some steel wool in and then I put some wet paper towel near the steel wool on the outside. Now watch what happens when I heat this end up. There it goes. <laughs> makes an extremely loud sound. So why does this make a sound? Well, when we heat one side of the tube, it expands the gas. But then as that hot gas moves toward the cooler end of the tube, it contracts and moves back towards the hot end of the tube. Then it heats up again and the whole process starts over. So you get pressure waves moving at regular intervals in the tube. But how do you turn this into an engine? Well, you just need to connect a piston to the end of the tube. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Give it a little kick start. Whoa. It just keeps going. So this is a thermoacoustic engine. Whoa, it is going so fast. It was first discovered by Lord Rayleigh, who predicted that you could make self-induced oscillations with the appropriate phasing of heat transfer and pressure systems. 